What's up everybody? On this episode we're going to go on a battleship. Why this particular battleship? Well it's called the Great Ghost. Check it out. The USS Edson is a Forrest Sherman class destroyer commissioned by the US Navy in 1956 and was fully built in 1958 by Bath Ironworks originally located in Maine. It was named after General Merritt Red Mike Edson, an American general who served in World War II and received the Medal of Honor for his service. He passed away in 1955, leaving behind his wife, Ethel Edson. In 1956, when the ship was officially commissioned, Ethel asked that it be named in his honor. In January of 58, Mrs. Edson was there to break a bottle of champagne on the bow, christening the newly named USS Edson as the ship sailed off towards her new home at port in Long Beach, California. Just less than a decade after her christening, with a few victories already under her belt, the USS Edson embarked on a voyage that would surely become her most famous test as both a reliable defense and a capable weapon, a voyage straight into the chaos of the Vietnam War. In 1967, during a particularly vicious battle off the coast of Vietnam, the USS Edson sustained major damage from enemy fire. Using the cover of the battle smoke as a way to hide from the opposing forces, she was able to retreat and seek repair. This would become the nightmarish surprise for the enemy, who thought she had been sunk earlier on. When the Edson reappeared weeks later, looking no worse for wear, the Viet Cong were terrified, and word quickly spread amongst the more superstitious that it could only be a ghost ship. It even earned the Edson an official nickname, the Grey Ghost of the Vietnam Coast. The Edson is marked on the side with a black cat next to the number 13. This represents Desron 13 which is an acronym used by the United States Navy for indicating a destroyer squadron. As the war raged on, the ship went on various sea air rescue missions for which she was awarded the Vietnam Service Medal, as well as the National Defense Medal for operations in the Vietnam Combat Zone. Finally, the USS Edson was given the honor Top Gun in 1970. In December 1974, the Edson suffered a fire while training with the USS Coral Sea, a fire which was caused by an ignition of oil that had sprayed from a rupture in a lube oil gauge line. Luckily for the crew and vessel, the area was quickly secured, and the fire was extinguished with no casualties to personnel. On December 15, 1988, after 12 tours and multiple honors, the USS Edson was officially decommissioned and retired. The following year, on July 4, the Edson was named a historic landmark and found a home at the Intrepid Sea Air and Space Museum in New York City, where she resided on display for the next 14 years. In 2013, the Saginaw Valley Naval Ship Museum took possession of the United States destroyer and had her towed by tugboat from New York all the way around to Bay City, Michigan, where she resides today as one of the only two remaining Forrest Sherman class destroyers. A few more cool facts about the USS Edson. The ship was featured on episode 104 of one of our favorite spooky shows of all time, the Twilight Zone. The episode was called The 30 Fathom Grave and it aired on January 10, 1963. The story was about a Navy destroyer and its crew hearing rhythmic noises which they later discovered are coming from the sunken submarine. From there, in true TZ fashion, weirdness ensues. A famous face to note from the episode was actor Billy Bixby who most notably went on to play Bruce Banner in the original televised version of The Incredible Hulk. Now, let's talk about some of the real haunted history that's been left off the official record. 
there have been many actual paranormal experiences on the Edson, even though only two people have ever passed on board. One was an E-3 fireman who committed suicide below deck in 1967. The other was Paul Spampanato, a caretaker who suffered a heart attack on Thanksgiving Day 1999 and was declared DOA. Investigators who have toured the ship claim to communicate with an entity named Paul, whom many believe is the spirit of the old caretaker himself. I was alone closing the ship after the terrorists had left. The room I was in had two doors, one on each side. I left for a moment and came back shortly to shut out the lights. I came back in through the other door and came back through the other side and the left side door was shut and sealed. I didn't shut it up, seal it. So I called the office and said, who's on the ship? And they said, nobody, it's just you. And that was just the first instance. That was just the beginning. After researching, the staff and I found there was a Paul on the ship at one time. Prior to coming to Bay City, the Edson served at the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum in New York City. Paul loved the ship so much, he decided to stay on board in the living quarters. He died of a heart attack in 1999 on Thanksgiving Day. Maybe that's where the nine came from. Some tourists and staff see the nine occasionally. He was noted as saying that he said he loved the ship so much that if he ever died, he wanted to die aboard the ship. He got his wish. Oh, another time, there was two employees in the office that spotted Paul on camera walking from the back of the ship to the forward of the ship. The boss asked, who's on the ship? Says no one. I swear there was a man walking to me in khaki colored clothes and then he just disappeared. I wonder to this day if Paul was the one that closed the door on the ship. Though she didn't have any casualties while at sea, this old battle destroyer has had many a hard-won victory and more than a few close calls. It's possible that some of these hauntings could be what researchers in the paranormal world know as residual hauntings. Residual hauntings, while somewhat hard to describe, are fairly common. The simplest explanation would be to compare it to a plasma monitor without sleep mode. The reason a computer with a plasma screen will go into sleep mode or run a screensaver is to protect the screen from image burning. If you leave it on a static image too long, eventually the image will burn itself into the monitor, leaving a permanent impression. Likewise, many locations where these hauntings take place have experienced an event so momentous or traumatic that the energy of the event is burned into the fabric of reality itself. These moments, frozen in time, will inexplicably play themselves over and over, just as a recording would. The events aren't just optical either. They can instead be audible, sounds and noises that have no apparent explanation, such as the classic case of phantom footsteps reported at the great many haunted locations. These are a prime example of audible, residual phenomena. It can even affect olfactory system, triggering our sense of smell and tricking our brains. People have often claimed to smell cigar smoke or perfume in old hallways or rooms where there is no one at all. Also known as psychic impressions, residual hauntings are considered to be the most common paranormal experience shared by both investigators and the average passerby. 
when an apparition or scene from an event has been witnessed multiple times by various people, it is likely the area is being affected by this type of haunting. This is the reason why so many battlefields, crime scenes, and areas related to extreme violence have become famous for their hauntings. Thus, it would make perfect sense that this kind of haunted energy would be found on the battleship like the Edson. Man, that was a fun afternoon. If you guys ever get a chance, you need to go see the USS Edson. It is really cool and well worth the trip. And they got some really cool merchandise. Shot glass, everybody knows I collect shot glasses. And t-shirts. They got about three or four different style t-shirts, some hats, pins, whatever you guys collect or want to contribute. So... And speaking of contribute, make sure to like, subscribe to our page and our Facebook page. And check out our new updated website. It's pretty cool. Dean did a great job of it. Until next time, take care and God bless. Population of zero is in my head. Population of zero.